Hello! We are moving on and moving up into Chapter 6 of Curse Castilla. Doing pretty good so far. We had you know, a decent, decent amount of success with this last run. All right. Um, hmm. Okay. Anywho. Loot multiplier. That is not something I've seen. It seems like someone who is you know, concerned with score is going to care about that. I do like that we've got... of a throwback here. We've got the, uh, oh, shoot. I do not want this axe. So I don't know if I've been spotted playing with this before, but it is garbage. No, I'm sure it's got some sort of niche uses where having that kind of curved angle would be handy, but... Personally, not something I want. <clears throat> These green globe guys seem like a bit of a trap. Splitting and splitting and splitting. I hate to say, but I think this is probably the most boring bit of level design I've seen so far. I mean, it's... Had we not had such cool levels before... Anywho, had we not had such, like, great levels before, this would not... I don't think be as disappointing for me, but... Sadly... Um, things like the level in Hell were just beautiful. Being stuck in kind of this drab castle level is. Um, ee! <laughs> That's embarrassing. I genuinely am embarrassed. I just walked right into the water there. I got scared. I didn't know how to hurt the guy. But let's move on. We'll get past it. <sighs> Some shockingly poor play. I just think every... Goodness gracious. Every time I take a little bit of a break, it takes me... You know... A little bit to get back in it, into the groove. Got that. Alright, I got my two teens taken care of. The old nicotine and caffeine. We're back at it. Just take it slow. No reason to rush. Yeah. Moving on. <laughs> this is just, it's such an easy level. There's nothing difficult here. Basic platforms, some frog monsters, and it shouldn't be shouldn't be kicking my ass like this. Okay, I'm just 
playing stupid. Playing stupid. Take your time. Oh, <laughs> for some reason I expected him to stay up on that stage. Okay. What do we want? I'm tempted to just go daggers. The sickle's nice. Ola's, I kind of like those. Oh, I almost jumped right into that one. Feels bad. I do think daggers are probably the the right choice there. The the benefits from from having that AoE are just too great. So we'll jump over this guy. <laughs> Get the key. So I can't actually jump up there. Bolas, daggers. So I think my question here is do these mermaids respawn? And it appears as if they do. Shit. I should have just gone. So for that section, I just need to get past them. Just run right through. Dodge if I need to. Because the, the slow play does, does not work there. This is the probably the least fun that I've had in a stage. Okay, so we'll let this guy run down. Make sure to get the key. Jump. Play. That's just poor play there. Deceptively easy first section, a second section that I'm making way harder than I need to. Okay. Not great, but I'll take it. We're past. Jump over. I have a feeling I'm going to make it past this. <laughs> Forgetting the key. And it'll all kind of be for naught. Come on. Did I kill him? Oh, there he is. Okay, I'll take the sickle.
not bad. When, she, when you make it through, it just seems so terribly easy. What? How? Oh. I was like, how on earth are you supposed to dodge all of those? But you're not. You're just supposed to kill them. Which? <laughs> okay, that's. Okay, so this key... The Kumora's Tear? Hmm. Okay. Eek. Eek. So this is a fairly, fairly straightforward boss. You hit it. So you can see how much quicker I was able to just... much going on. So when I when I do fail this, um, I just break one at a time. Play it a little bit slower, just break. Just break one at a time. When it gets when you're trying to break both of them, there's just too much going on. So we'll break this one. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. All bets are off. Things are just going bonkers. Okay, I think I... Hey! I was close. I was close that time. I'm just giving myself way too much trouble with this. Yeah. Yeah, definitely one at a time. A time is the way to go. <laughs> it's uh, the time of the day when the school bus comes to bring the neighbor kids home, and the dogs, amongst other things, do not like the neighbor kids. So we'll break this one. We want our focus to be... Ooh. Okay. There we go. There we go. Making it look easy. If I can, can I get it? Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. There we go. 
Okay, so you got streams that move in different directions. You run slower against the upstream, a little quicker against downstream. I wish I had more life. Nice, very nice. Ask for life and it shall be given. Eek. And the game giveth and the game taketh away. Well, we made it through. Not happy about losing all that life I gained, and we're here to trag all the banners. Aye. Okay, so this is this is tricky. Okay, so he, he stretches. Stretches pretty well. Yeah, that's that's tough. I am not. I'm not getting any damage on him. This is, oh, let's let's settle in for the long fight here. Okay. I'm just curious what the kind of next section of this fight is going to be like because there's definitely definitely going to be a next section. So you can't stand still. It will reach all the way across the screen and grab you. That's not bad. That's not bad ones. <laughs> it, it, it just seems so impossible the first time you start it, but that's not bad. So the key is to, you have to move or else the attack will get you. Obviously harder to jump upstream. Getting cheeky there, dodging underneath it. Like the game froze. How can it do this to me? And it, by some miracle, it came back. Yeah, that threw me on tilt there when it j it just stopped. So that's, it doesn't look like, because we got him down to what, three, three little heart containers left and he didn't have a second form. So I think that might be it for him. Just kind of a straightforward, not too many shenanigans going on. That's just some atrocious dodging on my part. Probably not going to get it on this one. Yeah, 
yeah. It puts you so much on tilt when you do poorly at the beginning. So he's gonna start with that right hand. So he can't actually reach the entire distance across the screen. I do want to try and get him over to that side a little bit more. Just because it's easier, I believe, to... So it does change a tad bit. You can see his fists are kind of spinning around in a circle now instead of holding him more straight than he was. But no no change to fundamentally how you're supposed to damage him. Okay, so he's getting his arms are getting up higher and he gets he gets longer reach. So it does change, it does change. It's just such kind of a small incremental change that it doesn't seem like that big of a deal. And then as you saw there, you can blow off one of his arms. Dodge the wrong way on that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when, when it gets like that, there's, you just can't do anything. Excuse me. <coughs> wow. There we go. Get some cheeky damage on him. And then simultaneously miss like 15 attacks. Do not like dodging that way. Do not like it one bit. Yeah. I had I had the rhythm all all wrong on that. Don't like doing that. So there, it just, it just changed the movement of his arms, giving it that more, more difficult pattern, and he is attacking um, more quickly. Yeah, I got, I got a little, little screwed up there at the end. A little, little off kilter. I think this is the boss for the level, though. I don't believe there's going to be another one. Okay, we'll move that direction. Yeah. You kind of have to jump to get past this water. And then not... So when he changes up his attack, like he has, with the arms getting a bit longer, you just cannot be as greedy. Whereas before I was able to get three, four hits, it gets down where, I mean, yeah, I might be able to get three, but that's with some extreme, extreme luck, yeah. Wow. 
why didn't the arm break off? Because it, it, it got to the point there, he's hitting, 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 hitting with both, and you cannot, you can't reasonably kind of keep dodging that. You cannot dodge that direction. Just kill me, kill me so I can start it again. Thank you. So although it was kind of a, a lame level from design point, I do like very much the the aesthetic of this monster. I think it's cool. The big Buddha looking fat guy. Very, very fun. Kind of what I expect. A good, wholesome, you know, classic monster. It gives a really good throwback vibe to how like, I could see playing this as a bad guy in uh, Breath of Fire or any of the old, kind of old school RPGs. So he's speeding up. It's getting close to where he's attacking with both hands. I'm doing okay on health. a risk dodging that direction. Yeah, wow. When those both both those arms start flailing. I think I had it towards the end there where I was over all the way to the left. take damage like this. I need that full. That full HP to beat that final section. Get me back over to this side. So I don't know what happened with that, um, on that one run a, a few times back where, hey, not how far. where that, um, the arm fell off, because that has not happened since, and I got him down to at the point where he's got one a heart, which is something like three or four hits left. So I don't know if it was because I just favored attacking one side so much. And I think I'll try that. I'm going to try and... Since the left side seems easier... I'll just focus on killing this one side. I need to give, I need to damage both. So key is going to be to just. I wonder what happens if I miss a countdown. Does it just do I quit? Do I lose all progress? I would die. <clears throat> so I just need to, as quick as possible, and most importantly, um, without taking damage. I'm, I'm on tilt so much. I think it was after getting getting him down to one heart. Because you can taste it. You can taste the victory at that point. Yeah, my dodging is off right now. <sighs> what 
what am I doing wrong? Because I had it. I had it down. I was consistently getting him to the last section. And he is not programmed any differently. I think I just need to be doing a better job of you know, splitting myself between the two sides. Getting over and then getting back. Getting over and then getting back. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's what I was missing there. I was doing too much on one side and not enough of... Okay, so he's... Oh. So, I'm, I'm so confused. Why that happened this time? Like, what... what changed? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this, actually. Yeah, no, that's... It's just... Like, what, what changes? What determines whether an arm's going to pop off or he's going to get down to just about dead? On that time where he got down to one heart, was it just simply due to the fact that I so evenly spread the damage that one of them hadn't... Because I assume there's... There's some sort of HP meter for for the hand. There's got to be. Like this hand has 17,000 hit points or something, and so does the other one. And once it gets to 15,000, 2,000 left or something, it it pops off. I don't know. I would be very interested to know kind of those details, because that's... You've got kind of old school, there's no no health numbers popping up. You've just got the hearts. You've got three, you've got 15. He's got a heck of a lot better armor, apparently. Because <laughs> if it only took seven hits to kill him, I'd be feeling really good about this. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have taken that damage. Yeah. Okay, and now for some reason... Look how much health that other arm has. So I think he is going to be... Uh, doing a better job of splitting my damage. Because with four or five hearts left, I'm not going to be able to realistically fight um, one arm mode. Because when he's got one arm, he's doing just substantially better damage to you. But when he favors going to one side more than the other, it makes it really hard to hit him. I would really want to kill this. I think if I had the had the option or the, the skills, what have you. I'd like to have this left arm die. Because it seems like the right one will stay kind of more in the center. Which gives a lot better opportunities to um, both dodge. Yeah. So that one, he's down to three hearts. 
and both arms start flailing like crazy. And two arms flailing like that, like, I don't care what kind of super gaming god you are, you're not gonna be able to dodge at. I'm gonna have to edit this one down when I finally beat him. I'm gonna actually start out. Yeah, taking a heart off that side at the beginning is. Tragically, it's just so much easier to damage this, this right arm. So I, I have to start over at the right. That's just the that's the fact of the matter. I starting over at the right is is what's gonna be necessary. I'm just, I'm taking the damage when I try to go for that left arm. So maybe I'll give it a shot. I'll just... I'm going to take this arm out. Obviously doing some damage to that left as much as possible. Okay. I think once he gets down to a certain overall health, that's when the the fast attacks start coming. Like we'll see it, yeah, right. That was the point. Right at that point, he goes for the grab, 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 grab. Overall, I'd, I'd call that a decent, a decent little fight. So hopefully, I can. I'd call that a. Terrible start. Awesome. <laughs> so it does seem like he does have a maximum. A maximum reach on his arms. Okay, now I want to focus this guy down here. If I can. Because I believe its health should be getting quite low. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I did what I wanted. I killed that arm. Hmm. <sighs> I haven't had this much trouble since Crazy Quixote. <laughs> and I still have not quite had as much trouble as I did with him. That guy was a stinker, let me tell you. So I think ideally, 
I do want to favor one arm over the other. But I do want to keep it relatively even. So I need one to die before he goes into crazy attack mode. But I don't want that remaining arm to have too much stinking health. So like I'll stay over here and get a couple more hits on this one. And then jump over there. Now I want to focus back on this right arm. Okay. Ouch. I feel like ducking is a part of this that that I'm not doing that I should somehow. So yeah, this... I, d I don't know how to beat that part. I, d I have no clue. Once he gets to the crazy flailing arm part. trying just shooting sideways to see if that's, you know, a viable option. I don't believe it is. You just cannot get the hits. Like, sure, I can sit here and I can dodge him. And now I can get one knife throw in there, but it takes something like eight. And sure, it's it's less risky. There's one. But if I can run under, that I can get at least three, four hits in there. actually be the secret to the fire song, so they say, is you do need to change your methods up. And there we go. <laughs> yes! I beat him. Please let that be the actual boss boss. And it is. Alright, here we go. For God and Castilla, we have completed... After six, after very, very much ado, probably the overall the hardest, hardest chapter so far. So let's play through this little bonus round before we call it a completion. We'll collect the points that we will inevitably lose. You know, maybe I'll start. Maybe I will. This will be, you know, the game that I start speed running, and I'll. You'll check and you'll be like, wow, he got the world record on that game? That's fantastic. So thank you for joining Free for this lengthy Chapter 6. I will be back shortly with Chapter 7, and I hope to see you then. Thank you very much.